right wheel spindles back in so literally wind her in right she's tightening out right again nip her up just a look just enough Allen key bolt, pinch bolt in the front. Right, just enough like that, that's all you need. Same here, just enough. Just enough. Done, right, so. That people is the fork legs back in. Right, so we've now got our new fancy preloads. How good do they look? Springs in. Uh, I'm gonna wait to test it until we've got the all in shock in. Um, I'm gonna put these halfway through, halfway through the preload. So, and I'll work either way from that what I like. Right, come on this side. So, you can see, yeah, there you go. Right. Mud guard. Uh, I always want to put to fit mud guards in. Right. It broke four, so I don't care. They're always awkward to get in. They never make them easy. Looks it. Come on. You go under there easier, do you think? No, that might be easy. Oh, there you go. And then lift it over. Right. What am I doing? I'm going to get my little fab miller. Fab there. Right. Wash them in. Where's my quarter inch drive? Right, wash them in. The brakes set the weight off actually, I could sort of pull that over. Stick that in the hole, that'll do that. I don't care. Wind them in. If you can see, can you see that from there? Yeah. Yeah. Take the weight off the brake actually, I could put this caliper on. Over the disc, so what are you doing? Should fit straight over there. Slowly do on, come on, get on. There we go. And then, and then. Right, round that up. You could grease all these up, copper slip and that, but it's just a bike. It's just a bike. In all truth, I'm going to be fettling with it a bit anyway, so. Socket. Socket. Oh, I've missed these brackets off, Anna. I? I? Need to bosh these brackets on, don't I? So then brackets sort of go. Okay. Then brackets, I've missed them off. Put them back on. Tell you what, I'll go on the other side first and we'll stick the stuff in the other side. Right. Yeah. Much yard. In position. Like that. Like that. What I normally do is at the end, I sort of just go around and nip every bolt up that I've sort of undone. And then that sort of just, you know you've got them all then if you sort of check afterwards. Right, there. Yeah. Right, brake on. Sort of brake back over the 
disc there. Great bolts, tell me that. One at the top of there, it should sort of found its whip. Oh, no. Bracket again. Oh, I'll truth, I don't really like that bracket, but it, it has to be on to serve a purpose, the old BABS wire. So, that sort of holds BABS there. That goes on around like that. There'd be a sensor, pokes in the oak. Where did the five miller go? There, look, five mil. Actually, it's a form, it's a four mil, I think, anyway. Oh, no thread. Again, I'm cheating because I've got this here. I'll just use this. Again, wind the ABS sensor in. The ABS sensor's away. Right, she's on. Twelve mil. Side now, take my stuff with me. It's a bit laborious, this, but it's better than paying the shop hundreds of pounds to do it. And this nut, I think I've used the wrong nut for one of the brakes, to be honest. Oh no, that's the brake nut. So these need to be. Where's that? Oh, that must go. Oh, they must go on there then. Must go there somewhere. I thought I'm having a break. Let's go on there. Right. Tighten that 12 million up. Rubber bun wants to go back in at one point. crazy that sometimes you just miss stuff and the thing is but if you just double like I say if you go over everything and check everything at the end you know you're right don't you yeah last thing you're gonna be doing is doing uh, 70 and then uh, your front brake's falling off right let's have a look see that's that that's that that we're gonna wind that back off one way to put these clamps on fiddly when they don't need to be they could make it so simple right once I screwed that back on job done 